everybody, it's Bunny. Today is a very, very exciting day because I'm finally gonna answer a question that I get asked all the time. Probably like the most asked question, shockingly enough. Hey Bunny, when are you gonna be a mom? When are you gonna have some kids? Kids, when, when are the kids? Does this happen to all ladies? or just ladies on social media. Today is finally the day that I become mommy dearest to a baby in a box. This will not be my first encounter with a reborn baby. The first time that I ever saw them was at a meet and greet years ago. This couple came in and they had two reborn babies. They were like some of the nicest people ever. And it was just such a really cool, incredibly fascinating experience. They had names for them, clothes, personalities. It was really cool. The next experience I had, actually a Swamp Family member sent me one. It was an old Swamp Family mail video. If you guys remember that, it was, I think it was called like Cash and Babies. What kind of like sealed the deal on my curiosity was actually when Shane and friends came down and Garrett brought Benjamin. And they also brought Tyler, but really like Benjamin, I was like, oh my God. A lot of times people get reborn babies for fun or for like therapeutic reasons. Sometimes people will bring in pictures of their own babies. There's lots of different reasons why people get them. And I kind of think that all the reasons are cool. I watched several documentaries here on YouTube about them. I'm gonna link one that Vice did. It's all in German, but I found it so fascinating. But I have a weird one today because of course I'm like, I, I want a weird baby mummy. One that I saw years ago that I have forever been fascinated by is the super realistic avatar babies. The blue people with the elf ears. So that's what we have in this box today. A realistic silicone avatar baby. Bring forth the birthing knife. This is how babies are born. I don't think I've ever held a real actual human infant baby in my life all growing up. Like I was just terrified of babies and pregnancy. I never liked dolls, never wanted like a brother or sister. I always liked action figures and like boys toys and monsters and things with snot and slime and Play-Doh, you shoot it out of the heads. That's what I liked. And then for whatever reason, like I kind of got in my twenties and I became really fascinated with old decrepit baby dolls. And now I have hundreds of them. Slice the baby out of the birthing chamber. Maybe like should stab more carefully this time. Uh, congratulations, you have a baby. <gasps> This is the best reborn unboxing on YouTube. It doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a face currently. You guys haven't seen it. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, how not dulled a baby. Look at its floppy head. Look at its floppy arms. Hi. Well, we have a baby and it has a tail. This is just too fun to like, just go like that. I don't mean any disrespect. I just got this for like fun purposes. I didn't get it for any therapeutic purposes. My motivation was we are about to go to Disney in a little while and they now have Avatar Land at Animal Kingdom. It is a very magical place. There's like UV black light everywhere. I think that the little dots on his body are like UV reactive. Look at how realistic this thing looks. It's so rubbery. I love its little like mohawk hair. So I have a friend. She's one of my oldest life friends. I have not seen her in probably a year and a half. She just arrived in town from New York and she asked me if I wanted to hang out today. And I was like, sure, do you want to film something? But I kind of like didn't tell her what. So I thought we could go do like a follow me around at Target or something like that. And like buy him clothes and like other sort of baby necessities. This is so heavy. Okay, honestly, this makes me super sympathetic to all the mothers of the world that are carrying real living babies that actually move. How do you guys do it? Do you get an award? I'm imagining how I'm even gonna carry my fake baby. It's so heavy. It's actually kind of fun to hold. I would never want a real live baby that actually moves that I would have to remember to feed. But this is nice. This is kind of fun. Blech. I feel like he needs a name, but he needs like an avatar-ish name. Let's go freak my friend out. That's you know what's so funny. This is just like high school because I feel like I never had to call you to be like, I'm outside. Like you just like psychically, like we're just like psychically joined. You know you have clown stoppers? What? Yeah, no, I'm about to show you clown stoppers. No. <laughs> 
up. You're a mom. Did you think you were going to be a mom today? Are you terrified of it? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what is the point of this? I just ate raw onion for lunch. I raw onion. That is all I smelled I... when I opened the door. Oh, my God. My life is an embarrassment. My mom made homemade cookies, like, just now. That's impressive. This camera's in full again. I don't know what I'm doing. Should I hold it? <laughs> nine years on YouTube, I still don't know what I'm doing. Wait, is this going to be That's my gonna ninth fall again. Let's go. It's great. It's great. First we show the clown stoppers and then we get coffee because 10 minutes into motherhood and I already need two shots of espresso and some Advil. Nobody's gonna be like, Georgie, do you want a balloon? What? Hey, please, have you not? Oh my God, I'm being killed by my own car. Murdered by my own inventions. Wait, I didn't invent this. I'm, I'm Elon Musk now, surprise. Look, see? Oh. Nobody's gonna be like, I've got a balloon. Like who would fall for that anyway? Like who even wants a balloon? Who even has ever wanted a balloon in their life? They're bad for the environment. I don't like balloons. They're squeaky. It, it's a it's a piece of plastic or some kind of man-made material that takes like thousands of years to degrade. Facts. <laughs> Where's your baby on board sticker in the back? Oh my god, yeah. Wait, I heard that that's legal. Or illegal now. If you have a baby on board, you've got to declare your child at all moments. You're horrified. I'm Especially actually... by this belly button right here. Oh yeah. You can't be like, I'd like a child with an any. It just came like that. You know what I'm saying? This is like the birth experience. I didn't choose this. I've got a baby. Can you imagine if you've got a real one of these? Like, do people call the cops if you walk around with it like this? A circle of life. It kind of feels sticky. What am I wearing today? Trash! If you had to describe me in high school in five words. Wait, am I same, am I same or different? Same. Flopping it around. We just came to a very sharp realization that when we buy it clothes, we're gonna have to cut a butthole. Cause it has a tail. It smells a little bit like you. It smells like me? <laughs> like a little bit already. Mothering. Just drop him in. Just, he'll be, oh my God. You can find out how much our baby weighs. Ew, it's dirty. <laughs> this hard? <laughs> yes. They don't let me out much. <laughs> <laughs> Grocery stores are made to make you feel ridiculous. <laughs> now it'll be clean. <gasps> Six pounds? Is that a heavy baby? Ew, my shoes match the basket. Mini candy corn? Honestly, this is lies. Many versus real. I feel like that should be smaller. Yeah, no. You know what? I'm not falling for this. I don't want to Oh my god. I love it. What was that class in high school? Do you remember that? When everybody got stuck with the rubber babies? We somehow avoided that experience? Is that, is that home ec? Is it? I thought that's why they teach you how to cook and stuff. I'm always drying up for the most of silly walks. Oh my god. Wait, is this what we buy? This looks too big though. Is this for big kids? In infant? What yeah, do you, you need, need like infant? Oh jeez. What is it? Do what? Film? Yeah, film. Oh. No, Me and my rubber baby aren't welcome here. That is the first time in my life that I have ever been kicked out for filming in Target. And I wasn't even as loud or obnoxious as I normally yeah. am in the bowels of Walmart, yeah, where they hopefully don't care about anything. Do I just take this doll out, chuck it to the side? and deposit this baby in this, what is this even called? A Rocky buy thing? Cradle? Grab some toy baby things and then we're gonna venture into the real baby baby section. This is the weirdest shopping experience of my life, by the way. Oh! That is fun. Ooh, what is that? A raptor, raptor wagon. Look, let's get the pony and the raptor and race. Don't you feel like people are like kind of freaked out? They're like excited when they see it and they're also like a little like, what is that thing? It's my baby. Oh my God, baby bucket hats. That could fit me. <laughs> yeah, that could fit me on a baby fashion show. I need like a baby slingshot or what is that called? Where you can just like strap it to your body. Baby Bjorn. That is a very classy sounding word. I'm really loving this like 90s, 90s jam. Yeah, we're in high school. I wish, actually I don't. No. I'm kind of conflicted by that, right? Because I'm like, oh, like if I knew I'd be standing here right now in Walmart with you like 10 years later, then I'd go back to high school. But like when you're in high school and you're like, oh God, everything sucks and I'm gonna hate life forever. You know what I'm saying? Like if you know everything's gonna work out, then you're fine. But has it worked out? <laughs> I 
have to have this legally. How about this nice, classy camo sippy cup? That's what I would drink out of. It's the end of the aisle. And there's no baby sling. <sighs> it's heavy. Motherhood's tough. Dude, that's <laughs> not a joke. I'm worn out from this experience. I'm tired. Look at her. She's so tired. Potty. I got a baby. I got a baby. I thought its mouth opened. I thought I could like shove a pacifier in there. Don't you feel like it should wake up? Don't want it to wake up. Wake me up inside. What's going on right now? My god. I almost dropped it. You think it like jiggles? Don't drop it in Walmart. Yeah, never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, no responsibilities. I'm really sad that my baby is not alive so it can't eat. But look at this bacon teether. Or a lollipop. Wait, what are you doing? What's the Charlie Brown kid? That's who you're like right now. You remind me of Marty McFly. You're at the prom. <gasps> oh my God, agility. That's what I need. Look at what Aunt Karen found the baby. This is just like a scrap of fabric. Whoops. Oh my God, it's you. I'm trying to look at the picture because God knows I'm not reading any instructions. See, that's also why I should not have a baby. I'd just chuck the baby in a car seat and like maybe not read the instructions. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I know. It's a baby. I know. It doesn't look like a real baby. It's <laughs> gonna be a good runway look, you know? Just like giant rubber baby strapped to your chest. I'm a hands-free mom now. Okay, I have all the convenience of not actually holding my baby. Fake baby. Shocked we didn't buy a fake Don't baby stop being person. my fake baby. Oh yeah, dude, I can't you Okay, if I had one of the real looking ones, like do you think people would be calling the cops right now? Yeah. Cause they you do? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> We're going swimming. Little unnamed baby here by the pool, chilling. Do you want to see the baby? My freaky weird blue baby. Three, two, one. Ah! First reaction. It's got a bug on it. Oh God, it's been laying outside. <laughs> Wait, are you just making it run? <laughs> okay, we have to look how we can sanitize it with alcohol or bleach. I look like a complete crazy person. Avatar baby adventure day. Two. Yesterday, we went to a different Target. Our home Target is currently under construction, so we thought that we would have more fun and a better selection at this other Target that we sometimes occasionally go to. But for some reason, they were super strict there yesterday and literally within two minutes kicked us out, basically, or told us we couldn't film there anymore, which was our whole reason for being there. I keep calling him Advatar, baby. I need some facial spray. Do you need some facial spray? Last night after we got out of the pool, we read Reborn Baby Care instructions, and I have basically done everything wrong. You're not supposed to like dunk them in a swimming pool, leave them outside sitting by a swimming pool for like five hours, but already did it. Ooh, refreshing. Baby refreshing spray. Let's begin our adventure. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Did you get that for me? Please. It's opening further. Kick it? Yep. Okay. That's how we accomplish things on the swamp. I need a cart. I'm losing it all. <laughs> Hello, fine people of the afternoon. Oh God, there's a blue wipe in that one. Can't touch it. Hi. Are you comfy down there? I don't understand why suddenly the color pink just calls to me. Why do I feel like I need this? Look, he's there cheering me on. Yay, mommy, you can do it. Oh. I was so excited, I thought I made it. I didn't at all. They're playing like really loud disco music in here. Oh, oh no wonder. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage! This pan blatantly says toxin free. Now I'm really terrified as to what pans are toxic. Oh my God! 
god, it's guava juice. Dude, I was literally laughing at this because I was like, wait, what is a big bucket of slime? Oh my god. And it's Karina Garcia. Look, this is just like the Isle of Life YouTuber products. This is amazing. I swear, this is a never ending disco medley. I keep thinking if I stop filming for a minute, like I'll be able to turn the camera back on and it won't be like, but. Here we are. Also, can I just say Target slash Walmart? What gives? I feel like this is the longest that they have ever left out back to school and not put in Halloween stuff. It's September. We've all been celebrating Halloween for a month already. Where have you been? I can get another reborn baby and then I can get the toot toot push them in a buggy trolley. A spraying hand sanitizer? Mmm. It smells so good. Basket toss, basket toss, basket toss. Oh, that made a sickening plop. Now how am I gonna sanitize the sanitizer that's been on the floor? Honestly, I kind of feel like I should go to the dollar store. I kind of want to get him like a diaper, but just one diaper. So I feel like I can get them a lot cheaper there. Oh my gosh. Obviously I am never spawning. So I've never like looked at the price of a diaper and I'm just so, so shocked. 25 diapers is like $10. This is insane. Does anybody have some fun facts for me in the comments down below? Like how much does it cost annually to have a baby? Oh my gosh, a koala hooded infant towel. Cloud Island? That is where I want to live. Thanks so much. Somebody please beam me up to Clown Island. Ooh, Clown Island. Okay, I'd maybe also settle for Clown Island. I'm overwhelmed, look. Ramones, <laughs> Rolling Stones. Oh no, this is a 4T. Way too big. That is so cute. This is all just for like big kids though. I 10 out of 10 would happily carry that. Are you in the 80s? Way too big. Everything is too big. He's a tiny little baby. I kind of want to fix this baby's lashes because they're out of control. I was looking at baby stuff and then I just sort of felt this like automatic sensor in my body just <laughs> like automatically suck me towards the makeup products. Let's just grab the little elf spoolie. You need to brush those things out. I kind of want to jet from here and go to the dollar store. Oh God, I'm by the pharmacy. <sighs> Germaphobe. Baby fashion show. Oh jeez. Oh my God, it looks like it fits. Baby fashion show. Look at this. It's like Target soap, but with clown clouds on the bottle. What are we gonna name him? I kind of want to give him a cool name like Spike. What else would I name a real baby? I've literally never thought about it. This just looks odd. I feel like that's why I wanted like a really like supernatural looking one. It's because I really just did want it to be like a fun like doll kind of thing and not at all like a real baby. Holy guacamole, my friend. I can't even get in. Give me a minute, I gotta make myself that tiny to get in. Fake baby eyelash styling tips 101. I'm gonna try and just add a little bit of curl to them. I'm just gonna give it a couple mists. Is it lifting and curling or am I pulling them out? This exact song was being played the minute that I was born. I guess I had like <laughs> crazy rock and roll parents that were like watching MTV as I was being born. Maybe that's why I'm like so obsessed with Sting because he plays backup in that song. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> when bark into Dollar Tree. <gasps> I see Halloween inside of here. <gasps> Time for the Dollar Tree. Just my sweet baby and me. I also now just carry this around with me. I need a lifetime supply. I just want to spray everything. Sanitized. Sanitized. Oh my God. This is amazing. A Dollar Tree. You're the real winner. This is so cute. This is so cute. You guys, I feel like I should do like a whole follow me around adventure. Going to different dollar stores so it would be like one follow me around video but I would go to like four different places. Giant googly eyes. I've got such cute stuff this year. It's a dollar. Can I decide if I want pink or purple? 
So we're gonna do one of each. I should do like a DIY headband. Like I'm just like, well, forget this other video I've been working on filming for two days. Now we're just moving straight to Halloween. Ooh, Annette, what can I catch with this? Subscribers. <laughs> I got a baby and two feather boas. 12 hours? That seems gross. I go to the bathroom like lots of times in 12 hours, I can't imagine. Might be the tiniest, which is like 11 to 20 pounds. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Air fresheners by decades, like the 70s. 80s is a cassette. It doesn't really look like a CD, but it's hilarious. And then the 2000s, oh my God, I love this one too. Headphones for like electronic music. I feel like we're gonna have the conclusion at home because I feel like I'm gonna try on some of the other little clothes that we bought yesterday so you guys can see. And the sun is almost setting and my battery is dying and I got a little spooky Halloween pail. Look at that, so cute. Spooky lighting. I kind of wonder if this is gonna fit him better because the onesie is super cute, but still way too big. I think especially since he has that little like diaper thing on and if I put like a real diaper on, the pants would probably fit better. Oh my gosh, you guys. These I would definitely have to take way up. Like, look at that. That's like four inches too big. Pumpkin baby. I cannot imagine how difficult this would be to put on a real baby that's probably moving. It has like this weird diagonal zipper. It's really cute, but it's still kind of like way too big. I actually would kind of like this if I was ever gonna take it out again, because at least it kind of like covers the whole body. So I feel like it would be like less likely to be completely covered in germs and bacteria. Never seen a diaper in my life. At least there's like kind of instructions. Oh my gosh. There's no way, you guys. This is enormous. This is like the whole size of the doll's complete body. This is the smallest diaper they had. Mind blown. I feel like I've learned more about babies than I would ever practically need to know in my entire life. Oh, I wanted to see what this phone, I bought this random phone at the dollar store because it says that it makes monster sounds and I just want to understand what that means. I don't hear any monsters. I kind of like this thing more than I even thought that I would. Hopefully I didn't like upset anybody by like being silly with it. I really just got it as kind of like a funny doll, an experiment, like I'm not taking it seriously at all. Like I totally mean no disrespect to people that do use them for like serious therapeutic reasons. I feel like that's why I wanted to get one that was like very clearly like a fantastical, magical creature and not one that looked too much like a real baby. I think he's cute. I think you guys will be seeing him again. He's just droopy and sleepy all the time. So basically like me. I feel like this has been the weirdest follow me around I've ever done. So random, so pointless, but hey, if it wasn't random and pointless, then it wouldn't be on my channel. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, or Snapchat at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all very soon. Bye!